Good evening. You're watching Jelly Pie Central News and I'm Isaac. With me today is Andy Stanton, the author of Mr Gum. Andy Stanton, Hello. how would you describe Mr Gum in one word? <laughs> Why is Mr Gum so nasty? Well, Mr Gum's so nasty because he's the villain in my books. And the villain has to be nasty, doesn't he? The goodies are good and the baddies are the bad. Uh, are bad, and the baddies can't be good because then the goodies would have to be bad. And if they were good and they were bad, but they were the baddies and they were the goodies, then no one would know what's going on, would they? Why are you enough to just use to make your books funny? Why not serious? Well, the thing is, Isaac, I just have a very strange mind, so when I start off doing something very serious, it always goes a little bit funny <laughs> sooner or later. So I've always thought that I should just try and write a really serious book, you know? that sort of said something like, the army were marching towards the city. The day was gloomy, clouds gathered, ominous portents were in the air. The army marched on, trudge, trudge, trudge. Then a little cat came along wearing a little hat, and he had a bow tie, and his eyes were made of marzipan. <laughs> Which Mr Gun story makes you laugh most? Probably still the first one, you're a bad man Mr Gun, because when I wrote that, I didn't even know what I was doing and all the characters were really new and in fact hardly anything even happens in that story it's just one stupid character after another one but sometimes, I'll tell you something actually, sometimes there are bits in all of the books that make me laugh very hard when I'm writing them not all the time but sometimes I laugh so hard and like sometimes I'm writing at four o'clock in the morning if you pass my house at that point you'd just hear like this <laughs> and you just probably think something really weird was going on. And sometimes when I write a really good bit, this is true, I get up and I just dance. I put some music on and I just dance like around the room for like about 20 minutes, <laughs> like I'm some sort of disco groovy boy. How do you think of such funny and weird stories? Well, the thing is, when I'm trying to write a story, usually what happens is one or two words pop up in my brain and they just spin around there for a while. And I, I think about them for a while and then other words come to connect with them. So for example, when I wrote Mr. Gum and the Goblins, for some reason, I don't know why, uh, the words Goblin Army were just spinning around in my head. Goblin Army, Goblin Army, Goblin Army, Goblin Army, Goblin Army. <laughs> and, um, and that went on for a while, and then I thought, well, that's quite interesting. Who's got a Goblin Army? Okay, Mr. Gum's got a Goblin Army. So I put that together, and then that was spinning around in my head. Mr. Gum's got a Goblin Army. Then I went on holiday to Greece, a Greek island, yeah. and I walked up this, yeah, and I walked up this mountain, yeah. In a, and uh, went for a little walk. And while I was walking up the mountain, oh, Goblin Army, oh, okay. Mountain, Goblin Army. And that's how I came up with the idea for Mr. Gum and the Goblins, just by putting all those things together, you see. You see what you mean? You see what I mean? Well, there you go. What is your favorite book and why? Um, out of all my books, I think my favorite book is probably still the first one, You're a Bad Man, Mr. Gum, for two reasons. One, I think it's just the zaniest, craziest one, but also I wrote it to make my little cousins laugh one Christmas originally. But then my other favourite book of mine, I do have another one, is Mr Gum and the Dancing Bear. And I like that one because not only is it really silly like all the others, but it's quite emotional as well. Thank you, Andy. That's it from Jelly Boy Central. <laughs>